Ocaria bankrupti, normally we called as filarial worm. Filarial, filarial worm. Then I go to discuss about the classification that is goes to phylum, phylum nematoda, phylum nematoda, and the class fast media. Already we know that about uh, fast media and fast media. When we discuss about uh, <coughs> nematode and classification, will be divided into the two classes. One is goes to fast media. Second one is goes to a fast media. Fast media means it goes to chemoreceptor which are present into the mouth. That's why we call as fast media. In nematode means it goes to round worms. We call as normally we call nematode. Class is goes to fast media. Normally we call as filarial worm. First, who identified this is about Ocaria brancafti? There are two scientists that put a lot of contribution for uh, the identification of these parasites. That is Ocaria, the scientist Ocaria and uh, Bancrafti. Ocaria and Bancraft, the both the scientists the joint collaboration to identify this type of parasites and the naming as the scientists, the parasite we called as Ocaria brancafti. It causes the disease is goes to filaria. That's why commonly we call it as a filarial worm. And uh, commonly that uh, filariasis we call as elephantiasis also. Elephantiasis also will be there. Next, uh, where it is uh, presence basically <coughs> bank of uh, normally we call as filarial worm. It is tropical, common tropical disease. This goes to Ucraria, branch after filaria. Basically it is a nematode parasite. It is goes to nematode parasite and uh, digenetic digenetic parasite means the complete the life cycle into the two host complete the life cycle is goes to two host and next one is goes to digenetic part next goes to dimorphic dimorphic and uh, digenetic dimorphic will be there Mature parasite and uh, pseudo silomate. Pseudo silomate. Okay, must be concentrated. The three terms is very important here. Nematode parasite is goes to commonly we call as roundworm here. Next, digenetic parasite means to complete the life cycle into the two hosts. What is goes to primary host is goes to man. And the second host is goes to Culex mosquito. Culex mosquito. Here I wanted to say one word here it goes to Sir Patrick Manson. Sir Patrick Manson, he is a identified female Culex mosquito. He is a transmitter of this disease. He is discovered by the Sir Patrick Manson will be there. So, Culex mosquito. Next, dimorphism means dimorphic means sexually there are two organisms are there consisting of a male and a female will be there. Male and female will be there. Normally we call as pseudo silomates. The silomil goes to pseudo silomates will be there. Let us go to discuss about uh, male and female. The structure we see that uh, Ucraria brancafti, or disease, we can say this as female, male, male will be consisting of curved <coughs> tail will be there, anterior part is goes to blunt, anterior part is blunt, we should not presence of lips, but in the case of Ascaris, there is a have a three chitinous lips, but here Ucraria, they should not presence of three chitinous lips. Only is presence into the mouth only will be located. Only mouth will be located. When we just we have to below of the area, there is you have a some of excretory pore also will be there. When is a curved tail area, there is have a unequal, unequal that is uh, copulatory spines will be there. Unequal copulatory spines will be there. Here there is a have aperture we called as cloacal aperture will be there. That is goes to male one. Next, what is the structure of female one? Just longer than the male one. That is very, very specialized. That is uh, 
it is a female it is also anterior is goes to blunt posterior is goes to pointed next uh, just uh, one third the position of the body we consisting of a genital pore there is a have a genital pore just below the last pore there is a have a anus anus will be there just below the mouth area there is a have a excretory pore will be there there is a have a excretory pore okay these are the structure of male and the female that's why we consider it as a dimorphic organisms a dimorphic parasite where it is lives it is very very specialization to the living into the normal we called as histozoic parasites called as histozoic parasite histozoic parasite means which parasites living into the tissues mostly is affect to the tissue which tissue is affected is goes to here lymphatic tissue is highly affected lymphatic tissue not only lymphatic tissue lymph vessels lymph vessels also lymph nodes also is highly affected by the this type of ureteral branch cavity finally leads to this the different types of disease that is is goes to filaria or elephantiasis series there let us goes to the complete the life cycle let us goes to next one is goes to life cycle of life cycle of ureteral branch cavity